Iran's military industry has gone a long way into developing effective military equipment. Today we'll be covering the Hordad 15. But before that, let's talk briefly about the third Hordad which belongs to the same family as the Hordad 15. In 2019, this surface-to-air missile system with homemade radars were responsible of shooting down a very advanced US drone called the RQ-4A near the Strait of Hormuz. This drone would be considered in at least the top 5 best military drones in the world. Now, this was a solid sign that Iran has gone a long way into developing vigorous weapon systems. The Hordad 15 made its first appearance in 2019. The system was being developed by the Iranian Aviation Industries Organization for at least 10 years. Now, this system is kind of a system with the least components. It only features one radar truck, which serves both as a search and fire control, and one or two launch trucks. The system also features very high mobility and it has the ability to set up under 5 minutes. Now let's talk about the rudiments and basics. This system can detect targets such as fighter jets or attack drones from 150 km away and engage them within a range of up to 120 km with a maximum altitude of 27 km by using the Sayat 3 missile. When it comes to stealth targets, it has the ability to detect them at a range of 85 km and destroy them within a range of 45 km. Now, the amount of targets the Hordad can detect are known, but it can track and engage 6 targets simultaneously, which is impressive. Now, let's further talk about the radars used. Interesting thing is that this system only features one radar, called the Nejm 804. This radar acts both as search, detection and engagement radar at the same time. This radar is an advanced version of the Nejm 802. The use of the Nejm 804 fast array radar in the Hordad 15 system has significantly increased its efficiency and resistance to enemy electronic warfare. Its flat panel antenna sits horizontally behind the carrier truck for road traffic conditions. Another advantage of this radar is the detection of cell targets, which these days have been designed and built in form of 5th generation fighter jets and various types of stealth drones. Now moving to the missiles used. The system uses two types of missiles, each is to engage different targets. The first one is the Sayat 2 or Hunter 2, which is mainly a missile used to engage medium to high flying threats. It has a range of up to 75 km, an altitude of 27 km and an impressive speed of around Mach 4.5, which is 5556 km per hour. This missile is able to operate in clutter and jamming environment. The Sayat 2 also features very high maneuverability, which is very helpful against fighter jets. The second missile is the Sayat 3. It has a range of more than 120 km and an altitude of 27 km, an impressive speed of up to Mach 5.1, which is 6297 km per hour. The missile is also able to perform very well in jamming environment and features very high maneuverability, which makes it an ideal weapon against fighter or attack jets. The ability to fire two types of missiles provides the advantage that the system has more options to deal with various air threats. Both of these missiles are designed to intercept and destroy any types of aerial targets, as well as ballistic missiles and low-flying cruise missile. This is the end of the video, I wanted to keep the video short and informative. A lot of people have been requesting to see this weapon and it's finally here. Thank you for tuning in, I've been your host Isev and I'll see you next time.